my father was a fisherman and my uncles fished. And as a family, we rented the Duke of Northumberland's private fishing water at Countess Park um, for, um, from 1939 until the present day. But of course, now that uh, we've got family, then I don't fish up at uh, Countess Park anymore. Running a f salmon fishing estate is um, a tremendous, um, how can I put it? It's not just a business, it becomes the, all the rods, and there's four rods a day, and we have full rods, half rods, and quarter rods. So I've got about 40 rods on the books who fish at Farnley throughout the week. And some of them have become very good friends. Um, and the, uh, the fees that they pay f for the fishing each year help to manage the estate, which, believe it or not, doesn't run on its own. It started off uh, fishing for trout at Rothbury during the last war. Um, then we moved on to Countess Park during the war. We fished at, uh, from a caravan on the River Liddle near Newcastleton for um, all the war years. And we lived on the river, so I, I, I fished uh, and uh, messed about on the river virtually all the summer holidays and Easter holidays. Um, and you become very attached to the river and running water and um, the nature of uh, kingfishers, um, uh, heron. It, it, it's, it's, and when, you're, when you've got a fishing rod in your hand, you can't really think about anything else. So all your worries disappear. And it's, 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 uh, it's probably the reason why there are millions of fishermen all over the world they sea fishing, obviously, uh, coarse fishing, where um, you f fish more or less in still water, and then game fishing, uh, which is running water, although there are lakes, obviously, with rainbows and brown trout in. The, the, um, the majority of our rods come from Yorkshire, and the reason that the, we've got Yorkshire rods is that a lot of them used to go up on the Tweed, well, the Tweed is another two hours away. So if you're leaving your house in Leeds or Bradford, um, you've got a three hour journey and three hours back, and then you've got to stay in an hotel. So it's an expensive business. Now with the advent of the Tyne, uh, a lot of Yorkshire salmon fishermen uh, can be on the, beach, on the water within an hour and a quarter, hour and 20 minutes, and it's an hour and 20 minutes home so they can enjoy a six, seven, eight hour day on the river. In our case, we have a fishing hut and 10, 15, 20% of the time on the, on the estate or on the riverbank is spent talking and uh, telling fishing stories and the latest equipment and what they did last week. And so it becomes not only a day out for salmon it's fish, it's a day out in, 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 in lovely yeah, countryside. Yeah, it's, uh, um, it it's pleasant. The uh, the they make world. friends of the, their fellow fishermen because they all have a designated day. And it's a wonderful experience. And we've got some of our uh, uh, rods, that we call them, that have been with us for 13 years, which is the number of time, the young years we've had the business. Weeks and weeks and not touch one. Weeks. Some people go years without catching a fish. Yeah. I know of one guy that went seven years. <laughs> yeah. That's fishing. <laughs>